So, uh, question of the month? Yes. All right. Uh, back to Fiddler. Sorry, in case you missed it for the last you know, few mi minutes, I've been asking everyone to complete the lyric, a famous lyric from Fiddler on the Roof, in uh, their personal way, with their personal touch. If I were a rich man, I. What would you do if you had an extraordinary, exorbitant amount of money? I'd get a bigger apartment with one big stairway just going up and <laughs> one even bigger going down. Fair, fair. Um, Good investment. So it'd be a duplex, apparently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I would also probably get a duplex or even a triplex, but I would love my um, apartment to have enough space to do um, theater readings to support the artists that I love so much in this community, and even possibly a better studio for Roger. <laughs> So that we could tape one case going, going one, one staircase could go up to the Roger studio, one staircase could go down to my black box theater, and I then I could it. have a very large floor with, where me and my fiance Evan could live very happily and have separate rooms. <laughs> <laughs> all good things, all real estate investments, very smart. I too want to support uh, the arts. I guess as I, I hope and dream, one day I'll grow up. Uh, and uh, we'll cut it there, <laughs> and be Daryl Roth and produce theater that's important and means something. And uh, I, with that exorbitant money and being uh, the, the second coming of Daryl Roth, I guess I would produce uh, so I could finally see a production of Funny Girl on Broadway. And uh, and Barbara and I would team up uh, and have our. You see, the weird thing, though, in your plan to be a, what you're going to do if you're a rich person actually involves other people who are already rich. Right, 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 but I wouldn't, it wouldn't need them as much other than Barbara. If you were married to Steve Roth and Barbara was your co-producer, you'd be fine. Yeah, right. Well, that's it. Then I'd be a rich person, and no, I could do... No, what Jesse's trying to say is if you could get Steve Roth and Barbara Streisand involved, you could be as poor as you are now. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Um, then I, I um, then I right? invest in real estate. Then I would buy an apartment. <laughs> um, but oh, I think you'd become a majority owner of Bloomingdale's. That's what I think. Oh, that's a good idea too. <laughs> or I'd buy a theater. I'd be a theater owner too. All good things to do if uh, I we we if were, you were a wealthy man, a wealthy man or woman. So let's see what the rest of the theater community had to say about what they would do if they were rich men and women. If I were a rich man, da 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 da. Is that right? Is that good? I get opening night tickets to Fiddler. Well, then mission accomplished. I'd buy a Broadway ticket to support musical theater. If I were a rich woman, I'd travel all around the world and sleep and eat and have massages. If I were a very very rich, idle diddle 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 woman, would spend uh, a decade on vacation. <laughs> I would give a lot of it away. I would give most of it away. I would find the right people. I would start with our communities here at home. I would work from the inside out and feed all the hungry children in New York and then try to feed most of the every child I could that was hungry in the United States and then work out from there. If I were a rich man, I would um, give a lot of it to the middle class. Well, I definitely would give a lot to a lot of charities, a lot of schools, um, and try to promote uh, awareness of, of Broadway and live theater. If I were a rich woman, I would buy my sister a house. If I were a rich woman, I would have a brownstone walk up in the West Village. If I were a rich woman, I would own a really nice apartment and it would have a terrace and it would be dog friendly. And uh, the maintenance would be so low. Yada dee da 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 dum. <laughs> Buy real estate in New York City. Because it's the real estate that never goes down and never depreciates. If I were a rich man, I would buy the building that I'm living in right now because there's a restaurant underneath us and it's a spiced Thai restaurant. Everybody loves Thai food. Everybody loves Thai food. The guy who owns our building will always be doing okay because he's got a Thai food in the restaurant below us in our apartment. I wish I owned the building. Wouldn't change a damn thing. Brian, Jesse, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Roj. We'll see you next time to discuss more of the spring season on Broadway and the New York theater community right here in Row J.